Welcome to watch the video of uh, Master Slave JK Flip Flop. So, what is the drawback in using JK Flip Flop? When J and K equal to 1, at that time, we are getting the racing condition. Okay. So, whenever the input is uh, J and K equal to 1, this is the clack pulse. Okay. So, for this clack pulse, we are getting the next state with the certain variations for a single clack pulse. So, within the single clack pulse, we are having many frequency variants. Okay, so this condition can be termed as racing condition and this racing condition can be eliminated by using this master slave flip flop. Okay, in this master slave flip flop, we are using two flip flops. Okay, so one is master and the another one is slave. Output of this master flip flop is given as input to the slave flip flop. Okay, so here it is a set condition the J and the K. Okay, and the clock pulse is provided to this master flip flop and the invert of the clock pulse that must be given to this second slave flip flop. Okay. So, this master flip flop is a positive edge trigger flip flop and the slave flip flop is a negative edge trigger flip flop. Okay. So, the main purpose of using this flip flop is to eliminate the racing condition. Okay. So, while using JK flip flop, when J equal to 1 and K equal to 1, we are getting the next states as 0 and at the same time 1. Okay. So, it gets toggling. Okay. It gets toggling and this condition is known as race condition. Okay. For eliminating this, we are designing this circuit of master slave flip flop. Okay. Here, this is the logic diagram. J is a 3 input uh, NAND gate. So, J uh, clock pulse and the output from this Q bar is connected to this and K for this NAND gate, K input and Q that can be directly connected with this, okay. So, this Q that can be connected with this NAND gate and the clock pulse that has been provided to it, okay. And this one is the master latch, okay. And next one is a slave latch, okay. This is similar to the top SR flip-flop and this is similar to the top JK flip-flop, okay. We are providing the rise and edge clock pulse and by using the inverter, we are providing the fallen edge clock pulse. So, it is a positive edge trigger and this one is a negative edge trigger, okay. So, we can see how it is working, okay. The basic operation is the truth table. It is similar to the top truth table of JK flip-flop, okay. Whenever the clock pulse is high, okay. Whenever the clock pulse is high, this flip-flop gets active, okay. Whenever the clock pulse is high, this flip-flop gets active and the working is based on the JK flip-flop, okay. Whenever the condition is 0, 0 means there will be no change, okay. Whenever the condition is 0, 0 for this, there will be no change, okay. Whenever the condition is 0 and 1 means it returns to reset condition, okay. When J equal to 0 and K equal to 1, it turns into a reset condition. Then J equal to 1 and K equal to 0, it is of set condition. Finally, for when both inputs are 1 and the present state will get toggle. Okay. So, we are getting the complemented output. Okay. So, this is similar to the working of the JK flip flop. Okay. So, whenever we apply the clock pulse, the clock pulse is high means this master flip flop gets active and it performs the operation similar to that of JK flip flop. So, based on the input we are providing, it provides the output. Okay. And at that time, this slave flip flop will not work. And it is in a reactive condition. Okay. So, the Q value does not change. That is what required for this eliminating the racing condition. Okay. So, that is not active at that time. And also the same time, the Q value it is not change. Okay. So, whenever the clock is low, whenever this condition becomes low, automatically it will become a negative edge triggering flip flop. So, whenever it becomes a negative edge triggering flip flop, Whatever the data it is having, it just store. This slave flip flop, it stored. Whatever the data shared by the master flip flop, it showed and it update the queue accordingly. That is the main function of this slave flip flop. Slave flip flop does not do any operation. It just simply store whatever the data shared by the master flip flop and update the queue accordingly. So, what condition will get eliminated is this racing condition. So, even for that clock pulse, there will be a no frequency variant at that time. And during the complement function, it does not get 
frequently toggling of data okay so this is a, a simple master slave flip flop we can implement this master slave flip flop with any types of flip flops okay so thank you for watching the video